Pretzels by the Dozen, Truth and Inspiration with a Heart-Shaped Twist. Written by Angela Elwell Hunt, illustrated by Bill Dodge. One piece of soft dough rolled long and round. Two ends of dough rope twisted and pressed down. No one knows the name of the monk who made the first pretzel in A.D. 610, but we do know that he called his creation Preti Olas. Three windows facing the rising sun, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are the three in one. Four hungry children praying to the Lord. When their prayers are said, they earn a tasty, warm reward. That first pretzel-making monk gave pretzels to the children as a reward for learning their prayers. The three holes in a pretzel are said to represent the Trinity, one God in three persons. At five o'clock, the sky is dark before most people wake. A pretzel maker falls asleep and lets the pretzels bake. His boss comes in and shouts, Oh no, I have an awful hunch. You've ruined them all. But then they find that well done pretzels crunch. The first pretzels were soft like bread. But one morning, a tired pretzel maker fell asleep at his oven and forgot about the pretzels over the fire. The flames died down and the pretzels baked for longer than usual. But the crunchy result was a roaring success. The toasted pretzel remained fresh far longer than the soft variety. Six royal hearts are joined today, parents, bride, and groom. Happy that the Lord has spread his love throughout the room. The bride picks up the wedding bread and gives her groom a grin. They say a prayer, they make a wish, they pull to see who wins. A woodcut dating from 1614 pictures a pretzel used as a marriage knot to unite two royal families. Wishing on a pretzel became a common ritual at weddings. The bride and groom made a wish and pulled. Whoever broke off the larger piece of the pretzel won. But since the bride and groom each wished for happiness together, both were winners. Seven children on New Year's Day, believing God is good, hang pretzels around their necks and frolic in the woods. A pretzel necklace, they believe, ensures God's love and joy, and so a yummy snack is given to every girl and boy. Pretzels began to symbolize long life and God's blessings. On New Year's Day, children of the Black Forest wore pretzels on loops around their necks. Eight bakers who do their work while the city sleeps hear strange noises in the dark, and so they take a peek. Enemies outside the wall are digging in the ground. The pretzel bakers tell the guards, and so they save the town. In 1510, the city of Vienna was saved by a group of pretzel bakers. Because the bakers rose early to begin their work, they alone heard the noise of enemy Turks who were trying to tunnel beneath the city walls. For their role in protecting the town, the Austrian emperor bestowed a special coat of arms upon the brave pretzel bakers. Nine men are paraded through a town while neighbors cheer, celebrating marriages of five and twenty years. To show their godly gratitude and prove they're not regretful, the men toss candy, fruit, and coin, along with crispy pretzels. People of Singmaringen, a town in Old Germany, celebrated silver wedding anniversaries with pretzel parades. Ten pilgrims leave the Mayflower, their hopes and faith in God. They'll establish homes and towns upon the, a foreign sod. From England they bring books and tools, faith and lots of spunk, and recipes for warm pretzels are packed within their trunks. Though we don't know for certain that children on the Mayflower ate pretzels, we are sure that the recipe arrived with settlers to the New World. Eleven natives leave their homes to visit Jockham Wessels. They offer breads and pots and furs to trade for Jockham's pretzels. Jockham gladly makes the deal, but his neighbors are most speedy. For selling pretzels, he goes to jail, for his neighbors are quite greedy. 
Jockam Wessels and his wife really were arrested for selling pretzels to Native Americans in 1652. The greedy colonists did not want to share their favorite food with their new neighbors. Twelve pretzels hung in a row upon a Christmas tree may be the sweetest ornaments the world will ever see. The heart-shaped breads, three holes in each, remind us of the day a monk twisted a bit of dough to teach children to pray. Christmas is the sweetest time of year, the perfect time for sweet pretzels. Not only did God send Jesus to us, but we remember his gift by giving presents to others. If you want to give something to Jesus, just think of the heart-shaped pretzel and remember, the best gift you can give to Christ is the gift of your heart. Jesus wants your love more than anything else you could give. On New Year's Eve in bright Times Square, they drop a shining ball. Millions cheer for the new year while fireworks spark and fall. In little littits, miles away, celebrations aren't as stressful. As the clock ticks down, they raise a cheer and drop, drop a giant pretzel. In the late 1850s, a traveler passing through Littitz, Pennsylvania, exchanged an improved pretzel recipe for a hot meal. The traveler moved on, and the recipe was given to Julius Sturgis, who in 1861 opened America's first commercial pretzel bakery in Littitz. The Julius Sturgis Pretzel House is still making pretzels today. It goes like this, so like the arms praying. So you put it down like this. So awesome. Yes, and then pinch that together to there, and that together to there. Good job. So my first one didn't quite turn out as well as Mateo's did. Yummy! Those are so tasty! There's our Lenten pretzel. Delicious. It works for us, and it's they taste pretty good, and they're very soft inside. Don't forget to pray this Lent season. I hope in this Lenten season that you can enjoy a pretzel at home. <laughs>